the first recommendation I would make is to have a walk-up routine before you go on video. No different than a professional athlete, a singer, a comedian. We need to get our body and our mind in the place of being ready to show up because this is a performance of sorts. So on the body side, and this is something that I've done from day one of being on camera, you need to get warmed up. That means physically. If you're really anxious, which a lot of us are before we go on camera, get that energy out. Do the jumping jacks, do the burpees, go for a jog. I worked out this morning before I met with you because that was kind of my ritual of getting in the, the right space, a calm space. For someone else, it might be meditation or yoga. Play around with those, see what works for you. But in terms of your mind, it's getting in that headspace of, as I mentioned earlier, the one-on-one -on -one conversation, that this truly is a continuation of a conversation with your friend, your coworker, a loved one. Put a picture of them up next to your camera lens. Put a picture of your grandma's smiling face or your cute four-year-old. So when you look at that lens, you are, you're speaking to them. And that also gets you in the headspace of speaking conversationally. Instead of just spewing information or giving a speech, we always want this to be a conversation instead of just a data dump, if you will. And reminding yourself also, you are the right person to be doing this. You've been asked to be on this podcast or to create this video or to be on a LinkedIn, in LinkedIn Live because you have some sort of expertise or lens on the world that is going to bring value. So if you focus on the value first and foremost, then you don't stress so much about the filler phrases or did I stumble or did I get distracted because you're focusing on the core of your message. 